What's up guys, it's MB back with another Cinemax tutorial and today we have an afro with a flawless drop fade so without further ado, let's jump right into the blend. First up you want to slowly pick up the top portion of the hair so you have a good look at the actual shape of the hair. Next with your trimmer create a baseline, eventually dropping it towards the occipital area. Make sure not to press too deep into the scalp. And now remove all the excess hair underneath. Guys, using a shaver is optional, but know that it does leave the contrast of the fade a little brighter, which is a good thing when aiming to have the cleanest fade possible. Using the 1.5 guard open, create a 4 inch guideline all around the head. Open up the lever now without a guard and create a half inch guideline. Alright, now close up the lever fully and hit that baseline halfway through the guideline. You want to keep gradually opening up the lever as you move up. Guys, make sure to stay patient and don't hesitate to mess with the lever if needed. Since my baseline was still visible, I now come back with the same tool I created it with and remove it. Next, with the number 2, open, debulk the excess hair above the 1.5 we debulked with earlier. And with the number 3, just flow above the number 2 just to have a nice even transition. Guys, lengthy curls and afros require lots of clipper and sheer over comb. Here I just made sure there's a flawless transition from the blend to the top portion of the parietal ridge. Using the half guard halfway open, create a half inch guideline. Now open up the lever fully with the same guard and create another half inch guideline above. You can clearly start to see how the fade is coming along at this point. With the one guard open, break the line within the light and dark area. Finally, with no guard, use your corners and lever to remove the last visible line. Notice how I hit every section multiple times, opening and closing up the lever. Details are crucial. I now pick out the section above the parietal ridge and freehand using my clipper. Guys, I truly suggest you work on the entire head when doing each step. I just happen to be doing one side first for demonstration purposes only. Oh. 
all I've got to say is thank you so much to everybody who watches the tutorials. Much love to all of y'all and I really hope you do learn a thing or two. If you guys do want to shop the translucent guards I use in every tutorial, make sure to visit MartyBlends.com and grab a set for yourself. Alright y'all, as for the lineup, clip away the top portion so it won't interfere with our debulking. Spray a nice coat of hairspray to keep it all in place. And in this case, I did use a one and a half with the grain to reduce any unnecessary darkness. I now use my FX3s to line up and get everything nice and crisp. For this specific cut, I decided to use hair enhancements on the lineup to create a dramatic pop. Don't overdo it if you decide to add some yourself, a small amount can go a long way. Guys, here is our beautiful blend for today. If you did enjoy this or learn anything from today's video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you're not yet. That's been it for me. I'm Marty Blends, and I'm out. Peace. Oh.